Hi, my name is uh, Mujibur Rahman, and my current research is about uh, multi-hazard early warning systems in Indonesia. Now, first, I want you to think and look at this picture of a butterfly. What comes into your mind? When I look at this butterfly, I see two things. It's beautiful, but second of all, it's fragile. And for the two and a half years I've been working on my research about multi-hazard early warning systems in Indonesia, those are the two things, or the two findings that I get. Why is this multi-hazard early warning system uh, beautiful? It's beautiful because it wants to try to capture all of the hazards in Indonesia into one system, one framework. It wants to unite the tsunami early warning system with the volcano uh, early warning system. Also with the landslide and uh, flood early warning system during the wet season. And on the other hand, uh, with the drought and the forest fires uh, during the uh, dry season. Now this uh, process has been uh, initiated since uh, 2015 after the, the Sunday framework for disaster risk reduction. Now, uh, on the other hand, uh, we can see large investments from the national government to build these systems, uh, especially focusing on the monitoring of these disaster events. But on the other hand, uh, we see that there's weakness. We see that there is a fragility in this multi-hazard early warning system. The first fragility focuses on the lack of clear uh, uh, legal instruments at the local level. While we have a single hazard uh, early warning system regulations at the local level, uh, there's yet to be the multi-hazard early warning framework at the provincial or district level. And uh, finally is the issue of infrastructure. The infrastructure of electricity, of internet connection, can instantly jeopardize the multi-hazard early warning system at the national level. This leads to the coverage to the community is uh, minimized. Uh, therefore, in my uh, research, uh, my initial uh, phase of my research is trying to find how to link the monitoring of multi-hazards at the national level and how can this reach to the local community who are living in the uh, disaster prone uh, regions where there is coastal regions or at the uh, mountainous uh, regions. So I'd like to say uh, thank you.